turns out Rowan wasn't taking Clark to the Ice Nation at all, was he? He was taking her to Lexa. I'm sorry. But it had to be this way. I had to ensure one head didn't fall into the hands of the Ice Queen. She, uh, is happy to see Clark? I need you. But Clark is not so happy to see Lexa. Ah! Ah! You bitch! Ah! You wanted the commander of death! You got her! Ah! I'll kill you! Clark is understandably upset about what happened the last time they met and uh, is literally dragged out of that throne room kicking and screaming after spitting in Lex's face. What if they won't give her back? We won't leave without your daughter. Clark is sort of a royal prisoner, you know. She's gonna be kept for her own protection, held for her own safety, because she would take off again in a second if she could. And so in episode three, we really, for the first time, tell a huge story in Polis, the grounder capital. Incredible. You know, that becomes a huge, huge location for us all season long. As soon as your leg heals, you'll be right back out there. Yeah, my leg's fine. Kane's trying to teach me a lesson. Here's what I'll say about Bellamy in episode three. He's kind of on the outs, like he's been put on the bench, he's wounded, he's injured, right? So there's a big mission that happens in episode three, and he's not a part of it. I should be there. And he wishes that he was. He should be on the field with the team. Echo. Melanie. Let her go. She threatened the summit. I was trying to help. Shut up. Something happens in the episode where he is, he is sort of forced into action. Will he get there in time? You have to watch to find out. The summit's a trap. At sundown, your people will die. <laughs>